Hi, Facebook. Well, I am working on my jazz painting. I've been working on it since last night. I went live on an artist group called Black Artists Connect. I had a lot of feedback on there. It was pretty awesome. So I am working on it for you guys today because they weren't trying to mess with me today. I think it has something to do with that day. I go on basketball game or something. Um, uh, so here we go. I'm going to flip it around so you can see what I've been up to yesterday and today. Just joking. Okay, now I'm going to... There it is. Okay. And let me move the easel back. Um, there we go. Ta-da! So those are the jazz players. I still got that section to do. But I did this guy in here in the middle with the saxophone today and the trumpet player yesterday. Look, I even got the Dizzy Gillespie cheeks. I'm so excited. And then I got some crowd people down there. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. And now I'm working on the last trombone guy and the tuba guy. So I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down so I can start painting again. Um, my son's friend said he looks like Barack Obama. <laughs> All right. See if I can do this so the right way. There, look at that. Front view, okay. Well, just hopefully I have to scooch on back so I can see when I get comments too. Oh no, drop my feet. I'm always dropping some. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a glare on there, too. Let's see, is that working any better now? No. There, that is. Okay. Thanks, Cody. All right. So, to the jazz guy. So this is the channel that uh, my kids listen to in my classroom. It's a mm, instrumentalist dubstep type music. I guess, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, um, but it's my favorite. I was in high school, my art teacher, Mr. Perkins, whenever we would have class with him, he would always play classical music. And I got an appreciation for classical music, yes, but um, he said that the point of him doing that was because words, uh, music without words gets you inside with the left side of your brain. When you listen to anything that has words, it goes to the right side of your brain. I think I probably have that flipped and flopped. Creative side is your right side. Analytical side is your left side. I don't know, I forget. Anyway, point being that uh, instrumental music helps you tap into your creative side. That's what I was trying to say. Don't judge me. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, you guys can talk to me. I can see when you leave me comments down there. Hey, Charles. Jeremy, I'm gonna pull back so you can see the whole thing. So it's almost done. As obsessed as I've been with this, I probably will finish it tonight. I need to lighten up those heads down there. Can you see if there's heads in the audience? Thanks, Charles. Thanks, Benjamin. And I need to lighten this up here to establish where the wall is back here. Actually, it seems to have worked. Thanks, Terrence.
Okay, I am out of fresh and blue. It's my favorite blue. When I run out of fresh and blue, it is a bad day in the world. Yes, Benjamin, I'm working with three different blues. I have, that was Prussian blue. This is French ultramarine. I have cerulean blue. This is all I have left of my cerulean blue. That's a sad day. Darren, my eyes hurt. That's the only reason why I have my glasses on. <laughs> I have pretty much, other than going to the uh, going to work out earlier today, I have been pretty much in this one spot. Well, I have doctor's appointment too, but been in this one spot all day because I am obsessed with painting this picture. I don't paint people often, so this has been a welcome challenge. And the reason why I usually don't paint people is because people. Uh, viewers seem to always want to think that people want to look, um, they need to look photorealistic, and I don't paint like that, clearly. So I try to stay away from people. I mean, I'm very well able to paint them, also clearly, but it's just not my forte. Portraits, specifically, I do not like to do. I know how to do all of this because I'm trained to do it. Doesn't mean I like doing it. Mason, it needs to be in holla? What's that? Benjamin, yes, I found an extra tube of cerulean. I ran out of the other one and then I found this one in my bucket of paint. And there's, as you can see, it's not much left. So I will be running out of that soon. I haven't thrown away my empty tubes yet because I need to write down what I need. That way when I go to the art supply store, I don't just wander around and say, oh, I think I need to get this, maybe that. And I know specifically, this tube's a painter, not cheap. One time I picked up a tube of titanium white and walked to the counter and got ready to pay for it. And she was like, this is $50. <laughs> I said, what? It was this size. This size of titanium white paint was 50 bucks. This one was not, I think it was like 20, but yeah. Um, some paints actually have ground up, uh, color in it. Like, I think it is actually this, the cerulean blue that has ground up lapis. Mm, yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's some kind of precious stone. And because it's in there, it, um, it's crazy expensive. So the way that they make it cheaper is, let me see, let me see that. It says hue. The fact that it says hue instead of it just being cerulean blue tells you that it's it's like a hybrid. It's a, it doesn't have as much as the the lapis lazuli, whatever however it is you pronounce it. The precious stone. 
Um, it's a blue, they grind it up, and that's what makes it crazy expensive. Yes, thank you. Look at that. My son knows how to pronounce it. How'd you know that? Oh, it's on Minecraft. Isn't that exciting? Say it again. That is Lazuli. Yep, there we go. It's a blue stone. They put it in paint. Mm hmm. Benjamin, not really. Um, his major curse is something called laziness. But he does have the potential if he would actually try. So now I gotta break out the cerulean. I need some cerulean on this trombone. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it open. There we go. Michelle, I have been, I started this yesterday and I've been working on it all day today and last night.
This is a neon sign back here and I can't get to it right now because it's too wet. Um, so I have to wait until it dries some and then I'll be able to add, make it look like it's um, lit. Hi, Facebook.